Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to do an unboxing of some heated socks that I picked up. Stick around. Alright guys, so it is now fall and muzzleloading season is actually coming up in my state where I live this weekend, November the 6th. So it's starting to cool down, starting to get pretty crisp outside and I absolutely hate going to the woods and having cold feet while I'm hunting. I hate that, always have. I've tried different things and you know, some things work, some don't. But what I have here is some heated socks that I picked up from BassProShops.com. It's the Action Heat Double A Battery Heated Socks. And these come in different sizes and there's a size chart on the back here if you guys want to pause and read on that, you can. But I will read it off to you. Size chart, it's unisex. So men's five to eight and a half is a small medium or women's six to nine and a half, small medium. And large and extra large is men's nine, and a, nine to 12 or women's 10 to 13 and then you have a double xl and in men's it says 12 and a half plus and women's is 13 and a half plus so on here it says uh let's see notes or batteries are not included and it does require six double a batteries total and it says on the side it says targeted heated toes Double A battery powered, heats up to 140 degrees, lasts up to four hours. I got the cotton blend. There's also a wool blend of that. And it says machine washable and unisex size scale. And then on the box over here on this side, it says which sock is best for you. And it tells you there's three different ones. There's a double A, a 3.7 volt, and then a 5 volt. And it gives you the... Um, the heating, the, the time that it heats for, gives you the temperature differences of each one. Um, the heated area, so the area of the foot that the sock um, heats. Tells you the heat panel dimensions, the heating levels, and the control types. Now, for these right here, I wasn't aware of this actually whenever I bought these, but it does say that the area that these heat, it focuses on the top of the toes. I'm okay with that. Uh, I was kind of hoping, you know, the bottom of the foot or something, you know. But top of toes is good. Top of my toes get colder than the rest, so that's good. And <clears throat> let's get this thing open, guys. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I think it was $39.99 that I paid for these. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it was. It was $39.99, and I'm thinking I got free shipping. Um, I bought these a few months ago. And they've just been sitting around waiting to do this unboxing. So, let's get these unboxed, guys. It's actually a pretty decent looking box. Oh, I was going to tell you, uh, on the picture here, yellow, see that it's black with these yellow lines here. Uh, the yellow on this means it's the cotton blend. If you see the ones that's black with the orange, those are wool. Oh, that's interesting. What is this? It's white. Oh, oh, it's a wash bag. See, a little wash bag. I guess you uh, put your stuff in there to wash it. I know that these are not supposed to go in the washers, so maybe that's what this is for. Put them in there and do some spot cleaning. And then also, oh, there's the socks. Cool. And we have a little instruction manual here. Shows the power pack and uh, oh, they got gloves too. That's cool. They probably have a little bit of everything. I'm I'm assuming probably jackets, gloves, everything you can think of that's heated. And there's a QR code on the back you can scan. Um, yeah, it's got your care instructions in here. Uh, how to prepare your AA battery heated accessories. How to power them. Okay. So I'm guessing it's got two adapters. What is this? There's the power packs right there. So let's go ahead and open those up first. Let me grab my 
handy dandy little pocket knife here. Don't want to rip the box in case I have to put it back in there. So I'm going to pop that. Pop it open over here. Guys, this little pocket knife has been a good one. I mean, I paid three bucks for this at Walmart on clearance. It's a Kershaw Hotwire. And it's small, compact, stayed very sharp. Been a good little knife. Check it out. I think they're like 12 bucks or something like that. It's a good one. It's one of the best cheap knives I've ever bought. Oh, yeah, here they are. So, we have some plastic little boxes here for your batteries. It's got a little red button there. Turn it on and off. And it feels... feels kind of generic, so it's very lightweight. That's a good thing. Especially if it's going to be on my socks, down inside my boot. There's another one. And let's see. You slide it down. Yep. Three AA batteries. I would probably recommend to get some rechargeable batteries for these. If you're going to be using them a lot. Because it says four hours on there. I think, yeah, four hours. So... I think there's different heat or temperature settings that you can set this for. I'm not 100% sure on this one yet, but we're going to find out. And each setting lasts different times. So, just for use of ease, rechargeable batteries would probably be the way to go. I'm going to be using some Energizer Max AA batteries in these this weekend. We'll see how long they last. And I will also do an update on this video and let you guys know how these socks performed find out if they held up to their standards. Oh, they just pulled up and rip it or tear it or cut it. All right, so meat and taters of the video. Here's the sock. All right, it's nice and long. Oh man, that thing feels, feels comfy. They're pretty thick. They feel like a very good quality sock. Right here is where it would plug in at, right at the top on the outside of the sock, I'm assuming, or inside, whichever way you put it on. And it's got a little pocket there. And there's the adapter. So, let's see. That would just plug right into there. Put your batteries in it. Turn it on. You have warm toes. I guess. It says that you will. I don't know. We'll find out, though. And, alright, just to let you guys get a little bit of a better look, and there's the sock, and it says right here, large, extra large on it, oh, this is the right foot, it has a little R right there, guys, in case you don't know which sock goes on which foot, this one is left, it says L, right there. And these things, they feel, they feel nice. They're kind of fuzzy on the inside. Those things are going to be warm, guys. See how they feel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these things are going to be nice and warm. They've got a nice stitching there at the bottom, so I really don't see these giving out real soon. You can feel the, the wire in here. It comes all the way down. You can feel it going all the way down. And then into the top of the toe. And it just sets right here. So it'll set right along um, the top of your toes. Feels nice. Alright guys. Oh. The wash bag. Let's check that out. See what it looks like. Open that up. Ta-da! Oh, it's just a little mesh bag with a zipper on it. Plastic. Plastic zipper. There's that. I don't know. It's kind of cool, but probably won't use it, to be honest. I'll probably just hand wash these things and uh, be done with it. But, anyway... Might give that to my kids to use for some. I don't know. All right, guys. So that was the unboxing of uh, the Action Heat Cotton Blend 
AA battery heated socks. So, I feel good about these. I think these are going to be good for what I'm going to be using them for, just hunting. And uh, they feel very, very well made and warm. They feel warm. It's a nice height there, so it'll definitely work out with my muck boots. So after this weekend, I will try to make another video and an update on how these things performed in the woods, how warm the, uh, my toes got, and I'll probably even make a video while I'm using them in the woods. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll let you guys know, and uh, feel free to check them out. I'll put a link in the description below for these. And like I said, I got them from BassProShops.com. It's the Action Heat Cotton Blend AA Battery Heated Socks. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.